Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how to continue on with your weapon switching system and we are going to be covering how we can set up the blueprint for the second weapon which is the M4A1. Now if you've watched the last few videos we've already covered how to change the UI elements to say M4A1 and we've also told it to play around with some ammo stuff as well. But what we need to do is actually get the physical weapon in and tell it to switch when we use that scroll wheel or we press a different button on the keyboard. So the main focus of today's video is just going to be getting that physical weapon set up and that is going to be in the form of using the blueprint. Now the way this blueprint is going to be set up is very similar to the way that we have set up our AK-47. So to speed things up, what we're going to be doing is taking our AK-47 weapon, duplicating it and then changing the elements so that it can fire in the way that it should do. This way that the AK-47 is so that our system works really, really easily later on. So what I want you to do is within your content browser, go down to your weapons and your AK-47 folder, copy weapon underscore base, and then with this, go into your M4A1 folder and just paste it. Now copying it is as simple as pressing control C with the weapon underscore base selected, and then in this one, it's just control V and that will paste it in. And then what we need to do is just rename this and we want to name this weapon underscore M4A1 so that we know exactly what we're working with. And now if we open this up, we can start changing it into an M4A1. So what I'm going to do then is first things first, we need to change the physical representation. And the way that I'm going to do this is by adding in a second skeletal mesh. So I'm just going to type in skeletal mesh. And the reason why I'm not just replacing the one that's there already is so that I can get a good uh, sort of idea of the scale and line it up a little bit better as well. So with this second skeletal mesh, I am going to set this mesh to M4 underscore sorry, M4A1 underscore weapon, and make sure it's the second part and not the silencer. And then with this, you can see in our blueprint, we've got our M4A1, but it's too small and it's facing the wrong way. So what I'm gonna do is scale this up. So make this nice and big, and I'm gonna try and get this to be the same size as our AK, and then just rotate it, just like this and just drag it into place. And what I really want to do is try and line it up as best as I can to so get the size pretty much exactly the same. So I want the end of the uh, barrel to line up with the end of the stock at the end there. So I'm just gonna keep scaling this up. And I think that might actually be about what I'm looking for. So it's a little bit bigger it needs to be. Keep going, keep going, and I think that is about it. And what I'm gonna do is just drag this in place, and I'm going to try and end up, uh, line up the end of the barrel with the end of this. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want it to fire out of the same place to make it work nice and easy. So I need to move this up, and from there, we should be all good. So what we also need to play around with is with this blueprint, I need to proceed to change the ammo that we have for the clip size, the max ammo and stuff. If you want to, you don't have to, this is entirely optional, but if you want your M4A1 to have a larger clip size, for example, you could change this clip to be something like 30, 40 instead. It is entirely up to you. So let's change this to 45 instead. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to open up my skeletal mesh for the weapon itself as we need to set up the bone for the muzzle flash. So with this open, with the weapon open, M4A1 underscore weapon, go into the skeletal view. And then in this, what I'm gonna do is, first things first, is turn down my camera speed because I'm moving way too quick. And then, 
With this, I am just going to add in a socket. So with the so uh, weapon selected, in the little view in the top left here, right click, add a socket, and then the name of the socket should be muzzle flash. And then with this socket, I am just going to move this over all the way to the end, just like I did with the AK. Now what I'm going to do is just make sure this is perfectly centered as it should be. And we're good there. What I'm going to do is make sure it's perfectly centered. And then I am also going to quickly open up the AK-47. And the reason why I'm opening up this AK-47 is just so that I know the muzzle is set, spelt the, uh, the same way. And you can see at the moment, the muzzle is just called muzzle. So I'm going to quickly change that on the M4A1. And then I'm also going to add this preview mesh to make sure the bullets are coming out in the right direction. So close this up again, go to M4A1, and then if you just open up your skeletal mesh, so open this, go into the skeletal view, and rename muzzle flash to just muzzle. And then with this, if you right click it, you can add a preview mesh, and the one that you're after should be called SM muzzle flash. And then it should look a little bit like this. Now what you might want to do is just scale it down a little bit to maybe a little bit more of a reasonable size. So just scale it down to about that. And then to make sure that our bullets don't come out sideways, I'm also going to rotate that. And hopefully now it should look just about right and you can see now we've got our M4A1 and it looks about right. So all that we need to do now then is essentially tell the engine to switch to the other blueprint when you tell it to switch weapons. So if you have the other weapon selected and then you press 2, we need to tell it to switch the other weapon physically to change from one blueprint to another and we also need it to link up the ammo as well and that is going to be based on our variable which is weapon selected anyway guys i'm going to end off the video here we have got loads more to come for the weapon switching but once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.